Hi, just wanted to share a quick update on my food forest permaculture site. This new bed here, I've added some lovely plants, all medicinal and edibles. So I'll just show you what we've got. We've got Achillea, or no, so known as yarrow, which is a great plant for bringing pollinators, but it's also known as the carpenter's plant, where it's very good in stopping bleeds and helping healing. I've got a lovely bronze fennel and a common green fennel. Again, lovely interest as well, structurally, but another edible. I've got some garlics interplanted. I've put a lovely echinacea plant here, which you can use within tinctures for healing colds and illnesses. I've added a chicory plant here, which is a great substitute to coffee. I'm gonna try that out. It gives beautiful flowers as well. The field beans are looking healthy and there's some flowers here. And going forward, I'm definitely gonna use field beans over broad beans because the broad beans have all collapsed, but the field beans have survived the harsh spring and winter and pushing through. The hookah culture bed's coming up. The garlics are coming up. I have a lovely section here now. I've made a few additions. So this here I've made a, a tea bed out of old pallets. And within that I've got bergamot or monada, which is Earl Grey. I've got grapefruit, strawberry mint, Moroccan mint, peppermint, spearmint, lemon balm, lemon verbena, all fantastic for teas. So that's really exciting. I've made a new worm compost bin. That's fantastic. And I've also got some borage, which again is borage is great for adding to drinks and great for pollinators. I've got comfrey here, which is a great compost activator and it makes a fantastic potassium feed. And look at the beautiful flowers, loved by pollinators. Some liatris for bringing pollinators in. I've got angelica, great for cake making. And up here, I'm starting to get together the herbs. So I've got oregano, thyme, basil, Japanese and Welsh onions, chives. So it's all coming on good. There's some strawberries. Also, the Gilda roses are looking fantastic. And they give out fantastic translucent berries. Great for wildlife, but also a good edible. They call it also the cranberry tree. So you can imagine the wonderful antioxidants and vitamins from those berries. So that's looking good. I've got a crab apple too. So I hope you like this quick update and just be encouraged any area you have dedicate a little space. This is not too big here. So try and think when you add to your garden let it be multi beneficial for pollinators, for health, for beauty and edible. Until next time have a great day.